Perched high on the slopes of Y Mountain in Provo, Utah, this cave harbors a legacy of adventure turned tragedy. Familiar to some as the Gollum Cave or the more ominous Cave of Death, its existence eludes many in the community. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to know more. What happened in 2005 that shook the world and brought to attention the deadly nature of the Gollum Caves? Let's find out. Back in the summer of 2005, August 17th, five friends embarked on a midnight quest to explore the secrets concealed within this dark cave, a plan they made over a normal dinner. Little did they know that this escapade would carve a tragic tale into the mountain's ancient heart. These caves are pretty close to the BYU campus and many local students are aware of the strange incidents that happened around the caves. Standing at a mere four feet in height, the cave's entrance belies its true challenge, a water-covered crawl space leading to an 18-20-inch tunnel, extending 15 feet from one end to the other. A treacherous path cloaked in darkness and uncertainty. Interestingly, two young cavers had previously surveyed the caves a year prior to the incident. To enter the cave you have to crouch down and walk down the 100-feet tunnel in a shallow stream. The challenging nature of reaching this place can be alluring to thrill-seekers. But, the dark path to reach the caves can scare even the boldest of adventure-seekers. A previous caver, who had braved the cave's perils before, uncovered a submerged lifeline, an underwater rope connecting both ends. It is mysterious why none of the unfortunate friends decided to grab hold of this rope, raising concerns about how they would have found their way and oriented themselves in the chasm. Jennifer Galbraith, a 21-year-old adventurer who had previously encountered the cave, persuaded her companions, Blake Donner, Scott McDonald, and Ariel Singer, to join her on this perilous journey. She convinced the group that they would be able to hold their breath and swim 15 feet to the other side of the cave. Joseph Ferguson, their fifth friend, chose to wait for them outside the caves. Despite Jennifer's prior battle with hypothermia and unconsciousness within the cave, her unwavering confidence propelled the group into the unknown. Because there was no clear plan for when they would return, Joseph waited for his friends to swim back out of the tunnel. With no sign of them returning by 6.25 a.m., the fifth friend became anxious and made the call for assistance. Later rescue operations would reveal a tragic series of events that were taking place deep within the mountain. The first suspected problem, was the bad air that the friends would have inhaled as they had raised their heads inside the inner cave. Because the cave was stagnant and the water source was closed, a combination of factors likely contributed to the carbon dioxide buildup. As the visitors spent time inside the cave, the oxygen level decreased and carbon dioxide accumulated. There were also signs of a burnt candle, which would have reduced the oxygen level even further. This would have been one of the primary reasons the people inside were unable to breathe properly. Fear of dying in a lethal subterranean environment, where nitrogen concentrations skyrocketed and oxygen levels plummeted, hovered like a menacing shadow. Too small for more than one person, the tunnel's cramped interior served as a gloomy backdrop for the heartbreaking deaths of the swimmers inside the cave. The unbroken rope hinted at a lack of direction in the murky waters. As the daring rescue operation progressed, rescuers pumped water out of the tunnel and injected oxygen that is necessary for life into the small area. What had once looked like a thrilling journey had turned into a desperate struggle against the passage of time and the weather. The Gollum Cave incident, etched in the collective memory of Provo, stands as a poignant reminder of the delicate dance between curiosity and caution. As we contemplate the mysteries of Y Mountain, let the memory of those lost guide us to tread lightly on the threshold of the unknown, respecting the fine line between adventure and the unforgiving forces of nature. If you found this story compelling, we invite you to explore more tales of adventure and caution on our channel. Like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement keeps these stories alive and helps us spread awareness about the delicate balance between thrill and safety.